obviously very, very different. And and I think I think that just as the the project and the foundation and just everything that this whole thing encompasses and, and the the number of people that it touches evolves, I think so too should should the song. You know, it was, I think it was the perfect time with with just as huge as this is getting for the song to to, to kind of blossom into something new and, and start kind of take a different direction. And um, and what dictated the direction is the fact that I've been working with Naima now, that her kind of brand of soul and passion and, and uh, uh, just enthusiasm for everything that she sings kind of kind of dictated the direction. So it was easy to, to write it the way that we did. Well, I was actually in rehearsal one day and Tony Poff came up to me and asked me about performing the song this time tomorrow and he began to tell me about the story behind it which for me as a songwriter is always um, where where the essence of something lies. He taught me about um, how this time tomorrow is benefiting those who have been affected by it and uh, I actually have been. My, uh, my grandmother had breast cancer and is a survivor and my father had cancer and is a survivor and so it hits home for me um, because it is so close to home. And I know that it's something that across the board is, is a topic that many people can relate to. For me, it was no question. And this time tomorrow, this, the foundation is just honorable. I always am about um, a great cause and people coming together for that. So it was not a very hard decision to make at all to do this time tomorrow. Hey, it's Naima Adedapo from season 10 of American Idol. I'm so excited for everybody to come out and see the premiere of my version of This Time Tomorrow, uh, November 15th at the Fister. Be there.